Hi to Tractors. Hi to Tractors. Hi to Tractors. My name is Virginia Lee Montgomery. This is Chris O'Leary. My name is Gabby. Jamie Monk. Siad Wells. James Breed. Mid Hatan Along. Andres Guadarrama. Yokabi Kayoki. Sarah Hatrick. We're off to a great start, <laughs> everybody. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, good evening, everybody. My name is James Parker. Uh, this is Network. I know, I'm here. I'm seeing all the comments now. Here we go. It's happening, everybody. Live. This is live. Live radio. Um, uh, yes. I'm just going to start my script from the very beginning. Good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome to Network, an international pandemic-inspired collaboration project. My name is James Parker. I'm one of the co-directors of Detractus New Music, and I will be your host for this evening's event as we present three amazing new works created over the past three months by artists, musicians, and composers from around the globe. Uh, first things first, I just want to get a few housekeeping things out of the way. Um, the pieces you're about to see in here will be much more impactful if you're wearing headphones. Uh, so if you can, grab a pair and plug them on in. Um, also, say hi in the chat. I'll be trying to keep an eye uh, out for any questions that come up, uh, and it'd be great to hear from all of you. And thirdly, I have a cat, and I love my cat dearly, um, but he's going to meow at some point while I'm talking, and uh, maybe he'll even crawl up on the desk. Who knows what's going to happen? This is live. This is live radio. Um, the idea for Network arose early in the pandemic when one of our Tetractus meetings, uh, my fellow co-director Michael Zapruder asked, uh, if we didn't have any history as an organization, how would we choose to use our resources in this context? We scrapped all the plans we had been working on to sort of produce a sort of facsimile of a live live events, um, and we started from scratch. We wanted to refocus on our mission as an organization to connect to artists, to connect artists from around the world to audiences in Austin, to create new and exciting work with the leading voices in our community, and to curate concert experiences featuring the music of living composers. And thus. Network was born. Um, we wanted to use the music worlds, and the whole worlds really, uh, newfound comfort for Zoom meetings and home recording to our advantage, and connect teams of artists that normally would never have met. We put out a call to composers, performers, and video artists, and we got 447 applications from 58 countries. Over the next six weeks, six long weeks, uh, we somehow narrowed it down to three teams of three, each made up of a video artist, composer, and a performer. Um, and asked them to create a piece that was designed to be experienced online in this format. Yes, kitty. I hear you. I hear you, my baby kitty. Um, Team Luna is made up of video artist Virginia Lee Montgomery, or VLM for short, uh, from right here in Austin. Saxophonist Sarah Hetrick in San Antonio slash Laredo, but an Austin alum. Uh, and composer James Creed, based in London. Team DMAC. Uh, is composer Andres Guadarrama in Mexico City, performers Jamie Monk and Siad Wells, who perform as Dua Charango, based half in Austin and half in Louisville, Kentucky, and the video artist Metas Chatawangs in Bangkok, Thailand. And last but not least, Team Seder, uh, with the clinking champagne glass emoji, clink, um, is made up of composer Nyokabi Karayuki in Maryland, slash New York, video artist Gabby Segovia Bro in Seattle, slash LA, uh, and performer Chris O'Leary in New Jersey slash New York. Um, our first piece is Phonic Cycles by Team Luna, who've asked me to read the following on their behalf. 
Uh, phonic cycles is a work concerned with familiarity, informed by long conversations about practice and perspective, as well as, of course, by the process of meeting one another. The collaborative, the, the collaborative work explores repetition as a site of difference, with familiar materials, scales, fifths, and the instrument itself, visually and sonically abstracted through looking more closely. In the recording, multiphonics are introduced in the melody gradually by Sarah before being gradually removed again, allowing the repeated phase to drift into the background and then to return to the fore. This process, supported by a short text supplied by James, is one of revealing complexities that were already present or potentially present. It is a delicate action at once careful and curious. Of the composition's visual elements, VLM writes, the video is comprised of a looping, layered, and cycling macro imagery of the saxophone's machinery. The editing work facilitates a hypnotic interplay of form and color, often casting the saxophone as an abstract metallic cityscape. Each slow pan shot follows in, follow, flows in motion from one frame to the next frame. The macro close-ups emphasize the instrument's recurring formal design properties like circles and holes. In the film's final visual sequence, the camera focuses upon the saxophone's anatomical bell, the central dark hole in the instrument, and expands into its darkness. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this piece, and it has, been a th um, it has been a joy to make, and we are thrilled to share it. And without further ado, here it is.
you know, one of these days, <clears throat> I'm going to remember to unmute myself. I was being assaulted by my little baby kitty monster. Um, so that's what happens. Um, that was Phonic Cycles by Team Luna. Music composed by James Creed and performed by Sarah Hetrick. Video by Virginia Montgomery or VLM. Um, if you want to find out more about the participants in 2021's network, you can head over to our website to tractusnewmusic.com slash net dash work. Um, uh, and then there's lots of links about all that stuff. Um, at the beginning of the pandemic, we all had to do a certain amount of pivoting. Um, our lives moved online and making, and, uh, making meaningful connections, both artistic and personal, became much harder. Um, at a time when we all sorely missed connection, we at Detractus wanted to create an opportunity to meet new people, make work together, and collaborate globally. This is my cat. I have to hold him, otherwise he's going to bite me a lot. Um, it was also important for us to pay ours directly and provide almost no limits on the work that would be created. All we asked for was no more than 10 minutes of images and sound. Um, looking at these works created by these artists from all corners of the globe, we were struck by the sense that there are messages from, through, into, and outside our, of our small, circumscribed worlds. Network is artists forging direct connect connections with each other across distances, language barriers, and time zones. The resulting works are documents of this time, reflections of what it means for us to live and work in this unparalleled moment. Um, the next piece is by Team DMAC. You know, as I'm saying this, I realize that I'm not sure that that's how it's pronounced. They just sent us the letters D-M-A-C and we're, we just called them DMAC um, because it kind of works that way. Anyways, this next piece is up by them. It's called Losing Its Name, A Rivers Enters the Sea. Um, to tell us a little bit more about this piece, we have a recording from the video artist Metas Chatawongs. Hi, I'm Metas. And as a video artist for this collaboration, I'm going to explain a little bit about video part. Uh, first of all, I start thinking with the idea that Andreas, who is a composer for this project, told me about um, kind of the natural system, including of water resources. And then I try to make an abstract visualization and combine uh, performing of Andreas himself and Duo Shalango together. In the details of the video was created like uh, water surface, water reflection, um, water movement that look calm but mystic simultaneously. I think it could visually represent our idea that we work for months and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.
I remember to unmute myself. <clears throat> um, and that's, that's a big day for me. I think it's the first time I've ever done that in any of the streams that I'm doing. That was Losing Its Name, A River Enters the Sea by Andres Guadarrama, Metas Chattawangs and Duo Turango, um, Team DMAC. Very cool, very interesting piece. During the process of them making that piece, uh, we kind of talked about, I was checking in with people talking about how they were how they were doing, what their process was like. And um, Team DMAC was doing this really interesting thing where they would, they would play sounds through these speakers and they would put pieces of paper on top of the speakers and the sounds would vibrate the paper and sort of like crinkle, crinkle it up. And so I kind of, it's kind of like this reverse notation where it's like, it's the, where if you have notation, the notation, somebody can read it and make the sound. But this is like, it's like the opposite where the sound makes the evidence on the page. Um, it's very cool. Um, and that's, that is one of the most interesting parts about working on this project was seeing how all of the different teams um, decided to work together to create their piece and kind of where each group took inspiration from for their collaboration. Um, going into the project, only Neokabi and Chris, who are both on Team Seder, whose piece is next, had ever met before. So everybody was basically strangers going into this. Um, so uh, they had to kind of move, and they didn't have that much time. Three months is not that much time to make this happen. So they were, had to move quickly uh, to get to know each other uh, and to like come up with the concept for the piece and actually make the piece. And I'm, it's the, what they were able to do in such a short amount of time is very, very impressive. Um, let's see. So Team Seder, who created the last piece on our program tonight, uh, found commonalities in their own personal narratives and explored them through music, sound, and recorded interviews. Um, and here is an inter a video of them talking about that. Hi, my name is Chris O'Leary. I'm a percussionist and I'm on Team Seder. Hi, my name is Gabby and I am a filmmaker on Team Seder. My name is Nyokabi Karaoke and I am the composer on Team Seder. The Color of Home is an artwork inspired by three maternal figures in our lives, each of whom are from and were raised on different soils, El Salvador, Kenya, and the Philippines, but are connected by their stories of immigration to America. The voices you will hear are from our interviews with them, where we ask questions like, what colors remind you of home? What was the moment that it first hit you that you left everything behind? And what do you hope for your children as they grow up here in America? Told through the lens of Spanish, Kikuyu, Tagalog, and English, the piece seeks to honor the journey and sacrifice of immigrant parents and to ponder and reflect on how the word home can have several meanings in our lives at once. We hope you enjoy, hope you enjoy it! it. One word that reminds you of home. One word. Um, uh, pagmamahal means love in Tagalog. Love? Moshie. Just home. Just home? Moshie is, yeah, just home. Moshie. Gosh, Moshie is always best. I don't know how to say that in Kikuyu. <laughs> Moshie no, Moshie no kukwega. A mí que es una palabra que te recuerda de tu, tu infancia. Mm, infancia. Mm, eso es muy interesante. Um... Oh, pórtese bien. Siempre me decían eso. Wow.
like when you look at yourself when you were growing no. up. Yeah. Not at all. Not bad at all. adversity did you face like when you first got here? La adversidad más grande fue que yo estaba sola y a veces no sabía a dónde vivir, no sabía cómo rentabas un apartamento, no sabía cómo, porque nunca lo había hecho. With a lot of, uh, obviously, prejudices, a lot of resistance from different people. You don't have the network, you don't have food to help you. You have to start afresh. Which is what he said. Sana po. Titera, sana po. Magtatrabaho. Anong kakainin ko? Anong paano ako bibili ng pagkain? Everything. Colors remind you of home. Green. Green. Green reminds me of home. Verde. Fuerte. Yellow, because it's sunny. Maybe red, because it's happy. It's a happy place.
sabes, como persona, como inteligente, vas a, a, a llegar muy lejos. What are you hopeful about for your children este, as they grow up? Here? Pero lo que yo más espero es que Does siempre sea íntegra como lo has hecho contigo like. misma. Que sea pero Así se aprende. Así se aprende. Y espero lo mejor. Y yo sé que Dios lo va a dar para ti. Mamá. Thank you, mom. Um, yeah. Thank you for answering questions. You're welcome. That was The Color of Home by Team Seder, made up of Niokabi Karayuki, Gabby Sokovia Bro, and Chris O'Leary. Um, what a special piece to end our program tonight. Such an incredible uh, accomplishment by all of these artists. You know, we were, we were in our meeting last week, we were, we, after we'd watched all the pieces, um, I don't know if any of you know Michael Zapruder in real life, but he is uh, full of sage wisdom and great sayings. But he was he was saying, you know, we're we're watching the news here, you know, we're understanding this time that we're in through the experiences of the artists that uh, we've commissioned to share these works with you, um, and it's such a special experience, and um, we're so lucky. To have had this opportunity we're so thankful for all of you for being here um it's so nice to see everybody in the chat so much love going on i, f I mean there's if only uh if only my cat loved me as much as all of you love each other um that would be <laughs> that would be great i would love that um definitely thank you all for tuning in um you know we are to practice are a very small arts organization here in Austin. We are all volunteers who dedicate our time to making this happen. Um, and like many organizations in, in arts organizations in Austin, it's a pretty tough time right now. Um, we're about to see our the funding that we get from the city cut by 90% um, due to fallout from the coronavirus pandemic. Um, this project was entirely funded by donations. And there's uh, we held a, a, a sort of a streaming telethon in <laughs> December, uh, and we, we were so lucky to raise enough money to make this project happen. Without you, our donors, our audience, uh, we would all be sitting here watching The Office again. Um, so thank you so much to all of our donors who uh, supported. You'll see all of their names in the slide at the end of the show. Um, we have an ambitious 2021-2022 season planned. Um, including another iteration of this show of network, um, but we need your help to make it a reality. If it's within your means, please check out the donate link in the description to this video and make a donation. Every dollar that we make tonight will go towards paying artists and supporting the art infrastructure here in Austin um, in this time that is uh, where it's very fragile to be an artist and our arts infrastructure is really on the rocks. It means the world to us that you took the time out of your days and nights uh, to be here. Um, the video will show up on YouTube if you didn't get to see the whole thing. Uh, and I think that we'll also be uploading each individual video to our YouTube in case you don't want to hear me uh, wrestling with my cat. Um, yes, I think that's all we have. Uh, I'm going to put the slideshow on the stream. We'll keep going. Show some love in the chat. Check out our website if you want to hear learn a little bit more about the artists. Um, thank you so much again for joining us, and uh, we will see you next time. Ta-ta.